good blessed Monday morning, June the 13th, 2022. It's about 10, 10 a.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you're the richest or the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest or the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't even matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter whether you like me or anything I say or do, because I know there are those that don't like the things I say or do. And those that don't like the things that I say or do, that is your prerogative. I am not angry at you. You have a first and a, a 14th Amendment right uh, to uh, think as you please there, you know. And uh, I know those that don't like me are uh, mo mostly uh, corrupted uh, law enforcement officials or corrupted people that's out here that's doing wrong to others. And I don't, I don't put it past them. But I'm here in Sison, Missouri at a famous uh, cafe that's called Lambert's Cafe. Uh, it's in Sison, Missouri. A lot of people all around the uh, country here. And some people uh, that don't live in the country, when they traveling, this is where they come. It's a nice scenery out here, y'all. I know a few people that work here. Look at it. It's real beautiful out here. The highway right here, I believe it's called uh, Malone Street. I'm over here where the birds is chirking, but it's real nice out here. But what I come today, y'all, to uh, say is I uploaded a, a YouTube video late last night, close around midnight. It probably came in uh, the uh, few minutes after uh, midnight, which would have been the day. Uh, it was some things concerning my son to show there's no doubt or contradiction that he didn't commit suicide. Several calls before his, he was found dead, which he was found dead March the 19th, 2021, uh, in the, uh, on a Friday in Carbondale, Illinois, Jackson County, in the 400 block of Oakland Street in the Gaslight's apartment. Uh, on the third floor in the hallway and it's a lot of strange things about what's happening the call was made that a guy found my son an Indian guy that's a student at SIU found my son uh, hanging when he came out his door to check his mail uh, and his call from 9 up to 911 showed his call was about 1327 that's military time. 1327 is 127 p.m. on March the 19th, 2021. Uh, but the coroner uh, declared my son deaf at 135. Paramedics and the police had came before the, not the coroner, but a guy that's supposed to be the deputy coroner, uh, which you, if you look him up, you'll find no place that you can find him as being a deputy coroner for Jackson County, Illinois, which governs Carbondale. His name is Sam, common spelling, S-A-M. Last uh, name is Bryant, the same spelling as my son, first name, B-R-Y-A-N. Now, if you look up Sam Bryant and look up the Merited Funeral Home where they took my son's body to, a white funeral home, uh, they... Uh, he was the director, may still be the director of that particular funeral home. But my point is, on the death certificate, Sam Bryan alleged false, which was the, is the actual corner for Jackson County, Illinois, which is located in Metropolis, Illinois, William Thomas Cooper, he put my son's time of death as 135. Uh, he also uh, declared my son's death as a suicide on June the 23rd, 2021, which the Carbondale Police Death Investigation 
hadn't even been completed yet. It wasn't completed until uh, August of 2021. Uh, the prosecuting attorney didn't declare my son's death as a suicide until uh, September the 23rd of 2021. The Illinois State Police wasn't even finished with their uh, investigation, their DNA investigation, which their DNA investigation was completed October the 19th, 2021. So why did the police department, the coroner, and the uh, uh, prosecuting attorney close my son's case? I'm gonna tell you why, because it was a cover-up. And I appealed the, the video that I made last night because it was removed and I appealed it, so I'm waiting on the appeal. But I want you to look at another thing. Uh, not only on the death certificate where it has, uh, when was the last time my son was seen alive in this blank? But yet the police department, the prosecuting the torn attorneys and everybody else have video of my son being at a lady's house on March the 19th, 2021, about 22 minutes after midnight, 13 hours after he was found dead, but they had uh, nothing on that. It's a lot of other things, y'all, that, that, that's wrong with that investigation. Uh, I have appealed to some of my friends I grew up in Cabrini Green with that work for politicians, that are politicians, aldermen, and work for the Secretary of State, Jesse White, uh, but I can't get none of them to help. But I'm asking some of y'all other people that's not politicians or some of y'all that's NAACP members. Uh, me and my two youngest daughters, 15 and 16 years old, next month would be 16 and 17 year old. We are NAACP members. Those of you are telling me that I should, I need to file a written uh, 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 complaint with the NAACP. If you look at my YouTube videos, I've done that last year, about almost 400 days ago, on May the 11, 2021, I emailed it to them. I have record of it, and they won't help. On April the 11, 2022, I spoke directly on YouTube and live at the uh, Southern Illinois University in Carbondale, Illinois, uh, to the national chapter of the NAACP, Derek uh, Johnson. And if you look at his response, it's sad. Because he told me they don't, they don't deal with those type of cases. A uh, hanging, y'all. A black man hung. But uh, anyway, y'all, I'm asking y'all to help me, that especially the Illinois residents. I sent three certified letters to the Illinois State Attorney General, Raul. Three of them. I sent one to his Carbondale office. I sent one to his Springfield, Illinois office. And I sent one to his office in Chicago, Illinois. By certified mail. And I got them back, got the things, I got the things back saying they was received. That was January the 3rd, 2021, y'all. Five months ago, and he haven't responded. The NAACP haven't responded to my complaint. And my friends that I call my friends, I'm gonna still call them my friends in Chicago, Illinois. They won't even help. I'm talking about the ones that work for the politicians. But I guess it's not they son. But I'm asking everybody else, if you belong to an NAACP chapter, show them this death of my son hanging. Show them how he had money balled up in his hand. Showed how on uh, March, uh, on, on March the 18th, 2021, he called the police several times. He called the non 911 uh, 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 call to the Carbondale Police Department and asking for a lady by the name Lisa and the a dispatcher sent them to her uh, voicemail. I want to know what that voicemail said. I'm going to call it a day and find out. He called the 911. He, he asked them. He, he kept calling. Store owners in Carbondale, Illinois, said there's a homeless man out here. He's cold. He's shivering. Uh, nothing showed that he was suicidal. 
Nothing showed that he would want to harm anybody, even though he had an axe in his hand. Y'all help me. Peace be still.